What's going on guys? A couple nights ago, the Edmonton Oilers played the Carolina Hurricanes, and I gotta say, with the way that game went, I fully believe at this point they are cursed. Obviously, the Edmonton Oilers haven't had a great start to this season. A big reason for that's been the goaltending play, as well as the defense, honestly, really not helping out the goaltending. And just in the pregame warm-up, both those things were on display. Darnell Nurse actually took a puck to the head that got redirected off of a post. I feel bad for him, but honestly, toughed it out. You can see him sitting on the bench there with a bloody nose. And I really like the comment on Reddit I saw saying that's the first time this year an Oilers defenseman has been first to a rebound. Also, too, as I mentioned with the goal attending. Stuart Skinner here just trying to do his pregame warm-up and takes a tumble on the Carolina Hurricanes side. Honestly, the fact that both these things happen in the same pregame should have told you how the rest of that game was going to go. And if you guys missed it, it did not go well. So Edmonton Oilers there were actually down four to nothing 15 minutes into the game. And honestly, I got to say in defense of Stuart Skinner, if you guys watch all four of the goals here, most of them honestly weren't completely his fault. Like the defense definitely could have helped to bail him out there. But Still, going down four, 15 minutes into the game. Again, I feel like that pregame warm-up should have kind of told us how this game was going to go. Again, too, you can kind of see McDavid, Dreisaitl just feeling disheveled on the bench. Not just this game, but their season in general has just not been going their way. Now, in fairness to the Oilers, they did fight back a little bit. They ended up losing the game 6-3. to three. You know, they were trying to fight and push back. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. And one of the things really funny, guys, the first person you could look at potentially cursing the Oilers and Jack Campbell was sent down to the minors a couple weeks ago, and he actually had a shutout a couple nights ago, the same night that the Oilers had this terrible performance against the Hurricanes. Literally can't catch a break. Now, after getting rid of Jack Campbell didn't work, the Oilers upper management probably thought Jay Wood Croft might be the curse. After losing the eventual Stanley Cup winner in the last two playoffs, a couple years ago, the Avalanche in the conference final, last year the Vegas School Knights in round two. Obviously a horrible start to this year and a lot of people predicted the Oilers to actually win the Stanley Cup. They fire him after losing to the last play San Jose Sharks. Bringing McDavid's old junior head coach in Chris Knobloch, who actually, they played pretty well for the first two games. Unfortunately though, they've actually lost the last three straight. So I don't think you can put the curse on Jay Woodcroft. You then go to the GM, Ken Holland. Honestly, when you look at the moves he's done since becoming the Oilers GM, I feel like he definitely could have done a better job. So you could potentially say the curse lies with him. Maybe if they bring in a new GM, it would get better. But honestly, guys, I think you got to go higher up. I think if there is an Oilers curse, it lies with the owner, Daryl Katz. Just the things he's done in upper management and obviously what that management has then done have not been enough to build this team into a perennial contender. I think when you have two of the best, if not the two best, players in the NHL and Carmack David and Leon Dreisaitl to have this bad of a start regardless of how unlucky they've been with the bad goaltending, with the bad puck luck. Even though all the analytics have been on their side, at the end of the day, you got to start winning games. And Oilers have just not done that. So very curious to see what's going to happen. Right now, they're third last in the NHL. The only two teams doing worse than them are the two teams everyone expected to be tanking this year. So right now, they have the third best odds of picking first overall again and getting Macklin Celebrini. I did see a tweet saying Ken Holland's open to trading anything but their first round pick, McDavid and Drysaddle. So very curious to see what the Oilers do here. Maybe they'll make a panic trade for a goalie like Mackenzie Blackwood. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Are the Oilers cursed? If they are cursed, who is the curse? And what do you guys think they should do to fix that? 